all right friends welcome back to another video on advanced laravel and view series and in this video i will show you how we can use pnia to solve one specific problem so first of all let me show you what the problem is over here on our update profile page on this form notice we have the name over here we have name displaying over here and on our sidebar as well so now if i change this name let's say change and this change got reflected over here but this is not reflecting on our sidebar, right? But if I click on save changes, our changes got saved. And then if I refresh the page, then the change is only reflecting here after refreshing the page, right? So it will be great if we reflect that changes immediately when someone changes on this form. So if someone changes here, it will reflect here and here as well. To fix this, there are various ways. But in this video, I will show you how we can use Pinia ASPNA is a global state management library for Vue. So now let's get started. Okay, so first of all, let's start by installing Pinia on our project. So to install Pinia, we need to do npm install Pinia or yarn add Pinia. Let's use npm. And then to set up Pinia, we need to import create Pinia from Pinia. So let's do that in our app.js file. Let me go to the top and over here. Let's import create Pinia from Pinia. Now let's create the Pinia instance. So over here, let's create the Pinia using create Pinia function. And we can use Pinia as a plugin. So over here, let's use that plugin for our app. Okay, we are done with the setup. Now, let me go to resources GS and let me create one folder called stores where we'll be using Pinia store. So inside this, let me create the file. Let me give it a name called auth user store, which is the authenticated user store, right? And on this file, first of all, we need to import define store from Pinia. So let's import that. Import define store from Pinia. And then we can define the store. And as the first argument, we need to pass the key. So for key, let me give it a name called auth user store. You can give any name, but it should be unique. And this name also will get appear on our dev tools. And on the second argument, we can pass either object or function. So we'll be using setup store. So I'll be passing function. And inside this, we can simply define this state. So let's define this state called user. Let's make this as uh, reactive and make sure to import ref from view. And by default, let me create name as empty string, email as empty string, role as empty string, and avatar as empty string. Now we are done with defining the state, okay? So at the end, we need to return that so that we can use in our components. Return user okay and finally we need to export it so that we can use that uh, throughout our components so let's do export const and normally we prefix with use and then auth user store okay similar to that of composables so that we can simply import it uh, on our components so now let me go to sidebar left and let me go to the top over here let me import use auth store from stores auth user store and we can simply call that function over here and let's store that instead of auth user store so let me use that to show you instead of username let me use that auth user store dot user dot name and now if i go over here then this is currently empty because we don't have set anything but now if i set the name let's say zone and refresh it and we see that name which is perfect but it is still not working if i change this then it is not reflecting here so let's fix that so let me go to update profile dot view file and let's import that over here as well import use auth store and let's store this as auth user store and let's call that function now let me go to the template 
and instead of form.name let's do auth user store dot user dot name let's do the same for role as well auth user store dot user dot role and let's do the same for form input as well over here on v model let's do auth user store dot user dot name let's do the same for email as well auth user store dot user dot email and now this is reactive by default so if i change this over here then this is reflecting here as well as on our sidebar as well which is great right and suppose if we have this name on our footer uh, let's say over here on our drop down then that name will get reflected everywhere so let me show you on footer as well let me go to app footer dot view file let's import use auth user store let's have this as auth user store and call that function now we can use that over here auth user store dot user dot name and we see this name which is great now if i change this let's say one two three then it's reflecting everywhere and this is working but we have also broken some functionality so if i refresh this then everything is gone and we see this default name uh, which is the hard-coded value so to fix this let's use pinia actions actions are similar to that of methods or functions in our component so let me go to auth user store and let's define the function uh, which is called actions in pinia so we can define this as an arrow function or normal function so let me use arrow function let me give it a name called get auth user and let's perform the axios request axios.get api slash profile and then we'll get the response back and we can set the user value to response data and we have already defined this endpoint in our web.php file so if i search for api slash profile then we have defined that already so it will work for us and the final thing is how we can call these actions so to call that actions we can simply do if i go to app footer and we have the auth user store and to call that actions we can simply do auth user store dot name of the actions which is get auth user and this will not work because we haven't returned that from our auth user store so make sure to return that get auth user okay now let me try this if i refresh it then we see this name which is coming from our database now if i go to app footer we are calling this uh, actions but if we do this multiple time let's say in sidebar left then we'll be making two xs requests right so it will be better if we put that code in our root component so let me go to app.view file and let's import use auth store and let's store this as auth user store and call that function and let's call that actions from here get auth user so that we'll be calling this once so let me uh, remove that code from app footer okay and now if i refresh it then it is still working and if i change this and it got changed everywhere right it is great but we still have broken some functionality if i click on save changes then it is saying displaying the message but it is not saving those changes, right so let's fix that let me go to update profile that view file and let me search for the method called update profile and while updating the profile we are passing form values but we are no longer using that form object over here so let's pass those manually name email and role so from here instead of form value let's do name is auth user store dot user dot name email is auth user store dot user dot email and role is auth user store dot user dot role okay and now we can remove this and also while this component is mounted we were calling that method called get user but we no longer need this 
so let me remove this as well and in our mounted function let's remove that as well let's remove this unmounted function now let me refresh this then something is broken let me open up the let me open up the console and it is giving the error that cannot reach properties of undefined for the avatar update profile line number 95 so let me go to 95 line number and over here we are where using form dot avatar instead of doing this let's use auth user store dot user dot avatar now let me refresh it and every error are gone so let me close this now let me remove this click on save changes and it got saved it is reflecting everywhere now if i refresh the page that name also got persisted in our database and these are coming from database which is great and finally let me give you an assignment and for the assignment you can try with this profile picture so when someone uploads the profile picture then currently it is only reflecting over here but make sure to change that profile picture here as well so it is the similar thing that we did earlier so this much for this video i hope this video was helpful for you don't forget to like share and subscribe to this channel as i'll be uploading the videos like this so till then have a great time and i will see you on the next one